Today we're going to be spraying a closed self spray foam insulation in this particular house. The product we're using today is made by Bayer. Uh, it's called Basil Closed Cell or Basil CC. It's one of the higher R value foams available on the market today. It's rated about 6.9 per inch. So we're going to be applying about 3 inches of foam in the walls and we're going to be putting about 5 inches of foam just underside the roof in the attic area or above the ceiling. What makes this place interesting is, you know, if you look around, you're going to see the nice stone house. Uh, this is an old house. It was uh, erected in 1861, so it just turned 150 years old, so it's up for a slight remodel. This is going to be right up there with one of the oldest houses we've insulated so far. Give me a little history here, Carrie. When did you get this house? Has it been in your family for a while, or did you just see it when you're driving by? Yeah, I was on a camping trip, but, but it's sight unseen. My wife called me up, I was in Colorado, and uh, bought it from a 7-Eleven fax machine. No kidding. So this is a structural masonry house. So the walls are typically not less than 18 inches thick, and in some cases, significantly more than that. For example, the foundation walls are sometimes 24 inches thick or even thicker. You can see how deep the windows are set in just because of the thickness of the stone, which presents some challenges with uh, establishing a thermal break between the inside surface of the wall and the cold surface of the stone. So we've got some plywood here. We've got some access ports on the front side as well as some access on the back side. So we're going to get as much insulation as we possibly can between the stone and the inside of the windows. Fifty-one degrees. Even the concrete's fifty degrees. Another challenge with some of these older style houses because of the way they're framed is getting the insulation layer continuous all the way from where the ceiling and the roof comes to the wall all the way down through where the second floor intersects with the wall, down to where the first floor intersects with the wall, into the basement. So if we do everything correct, there'll be a continuous, uninterrupted layer of foam insulation all the way from the basement floor, all the way up to the top of the roof, and all the way back down around the other wall of the house, back down to the basement floor. Continuous layer of airtight, closed cell foam insulation. I was thinking for walls, it might be kind of nice. This hose is already full of fluid, so it's a lot lighter. So as long as you're going with the twist of the hose, you don't even really need to hold it with your hand. You can almost double hand it, you know, for more control. So I think for, for uh, walls, and even when you reach up high, you hold this hose up compared to that hose, this hose is half the weight. The entire house is going to be insulated with nothing but spray foam insulation. No fiberglass, no cellulose, no open cell foam, all closed cell, all the way around. It's going to be a very well insulated house, nice and tight, it should function very well and be very easy on the utility bills. We're standing here in a garage looking at a situation that's becoming more and more common with today's construction methods, and that's to put what's called a bonus room over the garage, right here. Creates a real big problem and a real big challenge for insulation because when you use any type of conventional insulation material, whether it's fiberglass or cellulose, against the underside of a horizontal surface, over the course of time that material settles, leaving a gap or a void space between the insulation and the floor. And the reason that's bad is it allows for convection currents and other methods of energy transfer so that your floor is going to be cold or much more closer to the temperature of the air that's in the space beneath it. The spray foam insulation, when it's applied to this surface, 
directly adheres and bonds to the surface, eliminating the possibility for the creation of a void space and making sure that your floor stays warm.